Greetings everyone, Drum Prophet here, um, coming to you here with the Drumline series. Um, so I'm going to take this time to just kind of elaborate on just a few things here that we have going on with our drum lines. Now, before I go any further, um, basically what I'm speaking about is traditional drum line drumming. So it does have a lot to do with uh, historical black colleges and the backgrounds of it and things like that. So I'm going to be dropping some series here just on, on some knowledge, um, just some available things. So just a little bit uh, of my background, um, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, I attended Kentucky State University where I was section leader for two years. I've also toured with uh, Drumline Live, which was a spinoff of the stage tour, it was a stage tour off the spinoff of the movie, uh, Drumline. Uh, I was also in Drumline 2, been doing a lot of clinics and things of that nature for uh, at least 10 plus years, had the Saints Drumline, um, you know, I had many youth and, and that's pretty much what I still do now. So I just give them them uh, those scholarship opportunities and, you know, I try to, you know, take people on those adventures to help them understand what it is that you can do. So jumping right into this series here, I'm going to have a three part series and this uh, part is called how to be an effective leader. Now, and when you want to be an effective leader, it's one thing that you have to establish and I, and I got some notes here. Number one thing, you want to establish control and order. Now, when you say establish control and order, that means, hey, day number one, this is what we got to do. These are our goals. Keep in mind that everybody's goals for a drumline is different. Everybody has different areas that they're trying to increase in. So it's going to be slightly different. But one thing that you cannot take away from it is clean plan. So I don't care what part of drumming that you are a part of. I don't care what kind of conference you're in, drum corps, whether you're just, you know, hey, we're just kind of messing around. There is a such thing called clean drumming. No matter how your drums are tuned, you still have to be clean when you play. And I think that is the essence that a lot of drum lines, they lose that essence. They forget how to be clean. So trying to establish um, control and order, it's very important. Also, Others that are in the drum line, you have to be play a big part in that. You gotta you gotta hold your section down, and you have to be that person. You gotta speak up, because if you see something going on, and you know it's not cool, you know the section leader didn't catch it, or anyone else, you gotta step up. Effective communication is always, always going to work out right. People may not receive it but it will work out right. So you gotta remember in order to be a, an effective leader, you gotta be about your business. You gotta make sure you get your respect. And we, we always say you gotta give respect to get respect. Well, no matter how much you give respect, some people can still try to turn that into an opposite way. So I do understand that. Um, also, you, when you control it, you gotta understand it's control, but not dominate. This is not a dictatorship. You have to have those meetings. You have to go the extra mile with those section meter le section leader meetings, and you got to make sure everybody's on the same page because everybody's not going to be on the same page. You have to make sure you are effective. Whatever you talk about, whatever you say you're going to do, you got to do it. However you say you're going to run the section and how you agree upon it, you got to do it. Talk to those alumni. Make sure you're standing or you're within the bylaws of your alumni that came in 10 years ago. That's very important because they will support you. You have to make sure that you know what you are doing. Um, and also, you got to lead by example. Leading by example, it does work. I always get mad when I hear youth and some of my students say, man, Mr. Woods, ain't no, ain't no role models. Yes, there are. There's plenty of role models out here. You just decide to follow the wrong one. All right, and last but not least, before I wrap this first um, part up is being dis being discreet. Discreet means everything. Um, sometimes um, you can't really put certain people in check in the open. Kind of pull them to the side. Let me, let me, let's talk to you because guess what? Everything's not going to go as planned. It's kind of like having children. You would hope that every day you wake up your kids, you drop them off at school, you go to work, you have a great day, you got your coffee, you're getting this bread. But sometimes they get sick and it throw a loop. It, it throws a wrench in everything you're doing. You're like, oh, they're sick. They're playing outside and they're being a boy and they're having fun, but they break their wrist. So you kind of got to go with the system and kind of flow a little bit like, uh-oh, now I got to change this up. What, what happened? So always leave that room for change, those what-ifs. Some people are just having a bad day. Some of these college, they are college kids. They're just having a, they got a bad grade. So think about that. 
Um, and as I wrap up my first part in this series, um, I will be, there's three parts. I will be back with a part two and that's called building relationships in order to be an effective, um, section leader or a leader period. You have to build relationships. Drum profit signing out.